Hey YTPC, happy Halloween. Tonight, I'm gonna be trying some Haunted Bookshop for the first time. It's a cake version. I don't think it's probably much different than the regular. Uh, probably can't see it because I got my Halloween lighting on. I'll get the bowl loaded up and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to do the tin note on it. Tin note. Maybe a little bit of plum. Definitely the haze and the and the grass on there. And I know most everybody knows what it is, but just in case there's a new Piper watching, I'll put the description from tobacco reviews up. I won't put the reviews up there, just the just the description. All right, time to get a char light going. Get the Burleys, maybe a little bit of Virginia. We're well, not getting a lot of any other flavor on it. Yeah, I'm really not getting a lot other than just tobacco taste from it. And maybe it's just because it seems a little flat to me because I've been smoking so many strong Englishes lately. But we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it down halfway and see see if anything jumps out at me further on down the bowl. But right now it's just uh, just kind of a smooth smoke, but nothing nothing really jumps at me yet. So I'll see you see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm about halfway down the bowl now. You do have to dump the ashes on this one. Might be getting a little bit of the preet coming through now that I'm halfway there. It's I'm picking up uh, some more flavors now, or maybe they're blending together a little better. Yeah, definitely getting a hint of the preak. I didn't get that when I first lit it. But not much else, really, with this one. I mean, it's a solid Burley and Virginia blend. With a little preak twist to it. But we'll keep going with the bowl. And I think since I just cracked it, 
I think what I'm going to do is break apart those cakes and put it in a mason jar and let it sit. And I'm I'm going to reserve making a, a judgment on it right now. At least run through a few few bowls and see. Maybe try some different pipes. But back when I'm close to the bottom. Okay, I'm down to probably the final third of the bowl. And I am getting some sour taste now to it. Yeah, for me, the perique becomes more pronounced as you get lower in the bowl. I'm getting more tastes of it now. And like I said, some sour, sour flavors. And so, I mean, it's a decent, for me, for my taste, it's a, it's a decent smoke. I think, like I said, I think I'm going to break apart the cakes and uh, rub it all out, put it in a mason jar, let it sit like that, breathe a little bit for a while, and come back and try a few more bowls. And then I heard somewhere that people mix it with, Pirate cake. Now I love pirate cake, so maybe them two together, you know, adding a little bit of this to that might uh, bring it up to something that uh, provides a little interest for my palate. I don't know. We'll see. But first impressions, it's a it's a decent smoke, and uh, if I had to make a judgment today, I'll finish smoking the rest of this, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. But I'm not going to make a, a full commitment uh, on the on my overall feeling about it because I really want to want to give it some time. So I don't want to hastily judge it one way or the other. But first impressions, glad I tried, but I would not buy again. Who was it? Uh, old guy things. He showed his recipe for making what's that Hobbit blend? Old Toby. Now I can't get those Lane tobaccos here very easy or affordably. So what I'm going to try and do is based off the flavors in the, the Lane BCA and the Lane 1Q that, that he used in his recipe. See if I can find some combination in my Fallon blends, the, the Shire series, the Allenlin uh, series, and see if I can come up with some kind of a mix to replicate his recipe for those of us that live over here and have to rely on German suppliers. So see if I can come up with his version of old Toby. Now I know the country squire makes a, an old Toby, but they're just topped with sugar, I think. So I, I, I'd have no way to replicate that. So I'm going to, uh, see if I can make an old Toby version based on old guy things recipe with the lanes. I mean, I mean, in the end, it is not a bad tobacco. It's a very good tobacco. It's just, for me, it's a, it's flat. There's not a lot of, not a lot of flavors going on. So, of course, I'm into the, the strong Englishes and heavy aromatics. So the vapors and, and maybe the burleys are going to seem seem a little flat to me currently so 
but I mean, it's, it's good tobacco. It's not like toss it in the trash or anything, or I wouldn't give it a thumbs down. But we'll see. Perhaps it'll grow on me and um, perhaps it'll have a, a good use of me making some, some mixes because I think I am going to try that, uh, what are they, haunted pirate cake or whatever. I think, I think I'm going to try that uh, with it first. So if haunted bookshop is like your unicorn tobacco, sorry. So it's not mine. That's Northwoods for me. So a lot of you might think Northwoods is not the greatest thing either, but and for me, it's the best right now. So with that, I'm going to end this already too long video for what type of content I put in it. So happy Halloween to everybody and I'll catch you on the next one.